guys it's about 5 30 in the morning and we're going to the bins today i'm so excited we haven't been to the bins in so long it's been a few months and this is going to be our first trip of the new year and i can't wait to see what's there hopefully people have been tidying up with marie kondo on netflix so i'm going to try to bring you guys in there and show you a little bit of what it looks like inside and then at the end of this video will be the haul from today so hopefully i get a lot of stuff wish us luck we just stopped for coffee and i'll see you guys in there Are you happy with your purchases, Michael? I think so, yes. <laughs> some of that noise so if you watch the beginning intro of this video you'll see that i did some clips from the local goodwill bins we went for the first time in 2019 so i took home about 50 pounds a little bit over of stuff from there and i'm super excited about it i'm not going to show you a few things i did get some books for live um, and a couple things for around the house but i am going to show you everything that i'm going to resell as well as maybe like four or five pieces that i got for myself so again over 50 pounds and it's $1.39 at our Goodwill. I don't remember what it is for the books but it was probably minimal amount and um, I counted the items before I came on this video. There are 77 in total and my total spent was $71.51 so it works out to about $1.32 an item if I take out the stuff that I'm keeping for myself. So I'm going to start with a couple things that I got for myself clothes wise and then we'll get into the rest of the haul. I'm going to try and go through everything quickly because I don't want you guys to sit here for 45 minutes and watch me pull stuff out of bags and I have a lot to get through so that I can list it so let's just jump right in. So if you saw the thumbnail for this video, this will be no surprise. If you can see, I'm wearing this pizza shirt. It's a thermal um, pajama top from uh, Target, and it came with pants as well. But while we were there, we found <laughs> another one. This one is a size large. The one I'm wearing is a medium, but I'm still going to keep it just because. And it's just the Target Exhilaration brand. It's super soft. I love it. Then I got another pajama top for myself and this one is red with some mousse on it. Um, never heard of this brand, it's just Little Blue House. But I thought it would be cute to sleep in, so I picked that up. And on the same topic of mousse, I also got this sweater. It's like one of those ugly sweaters that I love to wear during the holidays. And this is from Ski Wear by Alps. I don't know if it'll focus. So that's that. Um, two more pieces for me. This one is a Celtics tee. It's a very soft material and it's just the NBA size small. 
And last but not least, uh, Mitchell actually found this and I stole it from him, <laughs> but it is this pink and white top. I just like it for the graphic on the back. So, you know, it's like the rock out symbol, but skeleton hands, and I thought that was really cool. I don't really wear pink often, but I just had to have this because I love skulls. So next I'm going to do the shoes. I don't find too many shoes at this um, bins location. Well, I've never been to another bins, but at this one, I don't usually find too many shoes. It's hard, they're hard to come by. Usually they're in pretty rough shape, but I did get a couple on this trip. So this was actually the first thing that I saw when we walked into the bins and we got there right at opening at 7 a.m. So they had been sitting there, but they are these Marc Jacobs like rain boots. And they're green with the yellow trim. I'm not sure what size these are. It says 35, so it's a smaller size, um, which might be a little tougher sell, but I decided to pick them up anyways. A lot of boots. These are Sam Edelman, also a rubber style, but they kind of have like a croc embossed print on them. And these are a size six. Look how adorable these are. Little Sorel boots. I think these are called the Cub style and these are a size 4. So cute. These are some Dance Go clogs. These are open back, not like the normal nursing style clogs and they do have some studs. And these are a size 39. All right, so I got two pairs of Merrill boots. This is the first pair. These are brown. They do have some treads on the bottom. Um, they're a little rough shape. There's some wear on the toes, but they're all leather, and Merrill sells pretty well for me, so I picked these up, and these are also a size 8. And the other pair is black. Again, all leather. This is the bottoms. And this pair is a size 7. Last pair of shoes, Tom's, super light, super quick sell, and these are a seven and a half. They're just like a dark gray color. All right, so on to the clothes, and then we'll do hard goods last because that's usually the stuff nobody cares to see. So first is this Cabela's jacket. It's a nice blue color. It does have a hood. Um, it says Cabela's on the back and it is a men's extra large. This will probably go up on eBay rather than Poshmark, but I decided to pick it up anyway since it was so cheap. This is blue and gray, size large, and it's like this blazer jacket with full zip. I think this might be the only pair of jeans in this haul. These are cut from the cloth, size 8. I'm not sure of the style. It doesn't have it in the little sticker that usually is back here. But it's like a straight leg style. This brand I've never heard of, so I'll have to do some research. But it's Tianello. I have to hold the label down, so I'm not sure if you'll be able to see that. And the pants are a size small. And they kind of reminded me of cloth and stone without that chambray look, but they're all black and they are, I believe, tenso. So yeah, 65% tenso and 35% rayon. Um, I'm going to try and wash them and see how they come out. I might actually keep them for myself because I kind of love that material. And this is a triple XL LL Bean, like a windbreaker jacket. It's in really good shape. It does have a hood that you can conceal in the back with the zipper. Oh, I lied. Here's another pair of jeans, but they are this big. <laughs> and they are little Harley Davidson, like carpet turn jeans for a little nugget. And they are size 12 months. And to go along with that, I also found these motocross pants from Fox Racing and I couldn't pass them up because they were super adorable. 
I'm um, not sure what size these are. I don't know, I'll have to find where the size is on here, but this one looks like it came from the actual Goodwill store, which is next door to the bins, and they wanted $6 for them. Obviously, I didn't pay that because I got them from the bins. And this is just an intimately free people basic like camisole with lace detail and this one is a size large which um it doesn't look like a large but <laughs> such is the way free people works these are american eagle shorts these are the super stretch in a pretty blue color they're kind of similar to a chino style and the size is a 10. This might be the only other free people item I found in here, but this one is a dress. And it's a size extra small, like this Living Coral 2019 color. Another American Eagle. I don't pick up much American Eagle, but I do like them and they sell pretty well for, you know, 20 to $25. So when I can pick them up cheap, I do. And this one is a size small. And it's just this striped kind of like bat wings, dolman style, dolman style sleeve. Oh, I lied. I got another pair of jeans. So this brand I've never seen before. Habitual. There we go. It's a size 31. Um, and these are called the Griffin Mini Boot. So I did look them up quickly on Poshmark and um, Oscillady. I don't know if you follow her. She is on YouTube as well. She recently sold a pair for, I believe, $68. So I figured I might as well try them out and see how they do for me. I was just really excited about this one. I don't find much anthropology when I go to the bins. And I had never found this brand before, even outside of the bins. So I was excited to pick it up. This is holding horses and it's a size small and it's like a chambray style top but the back has some lace on the bottom. I thought that was really cute. Don't hate on me Patriots fans because I am a huge Patriots fan and I know they're going to the Super Bowl but I still had to pick up this Dolphins beanie because I figured it would sell. So I like the money. And this is just a basic Star Wars tee. It is a size large. And here's the other anthropology piece that I found. This is Pilk Rote and the Letterpress. Size 8. It doesn't have a style, but they're like a linen um, blend, I believe, pant. So hopefully those will do well. This one I'm not sure about, but I picked it up anyway. It's another like windbreaker jacket, men's, and it's a pretty red color. And it is Tommy Bahama, which is usually pretty hit or miss for me, but I figured at that low cost of goods, I would just pick it up regardless. I know there's some of you Harry Potter fans out there like me, and these are just some pajama pants that I picked up and that has all of the different houses on them. And these are a size small. Next I have another men's item and this is from Orvis. I pick them up very infrequently when I can find them for cheap. This is a double XL and it's just a long sleeve top in gray. Uh, also don't pick up this brand very often. This is Life is Good. They don't retail for a lot, so I don't typically pick them up to resell, but this was like a nice heavier weight fleece. I love this one. It's like an ugly sweater, but with the Ninja Turtles, and it says just turtles at the top. And I thought this was kind of adorable, so I picked that up maybe for next ugly sweater season. 
This one, I'm not sure of the brand either. It's gonna be an eBay one for sure versus Poshmark. It is Moosey for Susan Bristol, but it's 63% Shetland wool, 14% lamb's wool, 11% Angora rabbit. 11% Angora rabbit. And it has these little sheep on it. I thought it was kind of cute. So we'll see how that does on eBay. This is a Victoria's Secret sport, sports bra. I know they don't make this um, line anymore, so I picked this up just to see how it will do for a couple bucks. I'm not sure what the size is because the tag is out, so I'll have to try to figure that out on my own. Um, this is a new to me brand. I've seen it before but never actually picked it up. It's on the bias. Um, I've seen some other resellers post about this brand. Um, most recently, I think um, Akil McLeod. I don't know if you guys follow him. I'll link his channel below if you want to check him out. But it's just this gray in like a seafoam green color short sleeve shirt. And I know um, graphic band tees are a big thing right now. Everybody pretty much watches Empty Hanger. But this is a U2 zip up hoodie. And it has their tour on the back. I thought that was kind of different versus just a regular t-shirt. And this is another Life is Good. This is a size large. It's green and it has like Birkenstocks on the front. And it says not all who wander are lost. So that will be another eBay. This is just Universal Thread which is Target. Sometimes I pick it up. And it's a size medium. If it doesn't sell, I'll just keep it for myself. It's this pretty blue long sleeve. Um, it's like a crew neck sweater kind of, but it's very thin. Again, please don't hate me Patriots fans, but this is a little boys Steeler hoodie. And I thought this was so cute in its actual NFL team apparel. Youth, obviously. And it's a small. And now the last two clothing items are both um, ski and snowboard related. So hopefully I can get these up soon before the season is over. Uh, never heard of these, but this is liquid. And this is a size small. And they're just these pretty like lavender color ski pants. And next I have a ski bib. This one's from Columbia. This is definitely a vintage style and a vintage colorway. Um, it's a size women's large. And it's green and has the purple on the inside and just a little black detail at the bottom. So that's it. That's all I got for clothes. I will go over quickly the small amount of hard goods that I got. This might be one of the weirdest things to ever purchase, but this is a life preserver. It still has the green light, so it doesn't need to be serviced, and it's made by Cabela's. I looked them up online. They usually go for around $40, so I mean $1.32 into $40. It sounds good to me. And I always pick up some kind of shopping bags there, so this is just a denim American Eagle bag. And the other one I got is from Barnes and Noble and it has um, F. Scott Fitzgerald's book on the front and it said, says this side of paradise. This is a small one, you know, just go to the store, pick up a couple books, throw them in there and walk out. Uh, this is a box of disposable nursing pads from Medela. I just uh, sold some nursing bottles from them on eBay. They sold super quickly, so hopefully these will do the same. And I got a couple of Hallmark ornaments. This one is a little Eskimo with the penguin. I don't usually pick up these kind of things, but there was a crap load of Christmas stuff at the bins because everybody's offloading after the holidays. And this is a Yankee Candle like tart warmer. It has the opening in the back and then it melts on the top. And it says Yankee Candle on the bottom. If you're from the New England area, you will know very well Dunkin' Donuts. So this, this is a little Dunkin' Donuts ornament. 
see if it'll focus for me doesn't want to Let's see if I open it if that'll change <laughs> its ability to focus but it's a little munchkin container ornament for your Christmas tree come on there we go um, so this is from 2013 they're not gonna sell for a huge heck of a lot that's I mean it's not Starbucks but I figured I'd pick it up anyways I also picked up this little Dunkin' Donuts bag. There were a few of them in there. Mitchell ended up with the rest of them, but it has a little donut in the pumpkin hat on. And this is the other Hallmark ornament that I got. This one is uh, part of a collection of Santa and a hot air balloon. So this one, he's in like an ice cream. Um, I went a little thrift to travel on this one and got this humidifier filter replacement. Um, hopefully it'll sell for maybe around 10 bucks, but hey, that's free money for me. This I immediately knew what it was because we used to have one back in the day in my own refrigerator at home. So this is a pickle keeper from Tupperware and it's very random that I picked this stuff up, but I figured it's very vintage and it would sell. Um, this one is a blanket from an electric blanket. It is the Sunbeam company. Um, I've never picked one of these up before, but I've been watching a whole ton of videos on YouTube and uh, Melissa and Bear, I'll link their channel down below as well. They usually pick these up and sell them for um, 10 to $15 on eBay, so figured why not? And this is just a a little tykes um, circular saw I got so excited about this in the store just because it makes noise <laughs> so I pick that up and I originally got this for myself but I'm probably not going to ever do anything with it but it is just a stamper from Martha Stewart and it is an elephant and I love elephants but up on eBay it went And then last but not least, I have two books. So the first one is An Inconvenient Truth by Al Gore. It's all about global warming. I have this one up on Amazon just to see how it does. I haven't really sold too much on Amazon, but it won't hurt. And then this one is How to Survive a Garden Gnome Attack. I thought this one was kind of funny, so I picked it up. Um, so I also have this one up on Amazon. And if they don't sell, I'll just re-donate them. Not a big deal. Well, that's everything that I have for you guys today. I appreciate you watching. As always, thank you for tuning in. I so appreciate all the support you guys have given to me. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up for me and subscribe to see more content in the future. Thanks.